Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I have not posted it in a while and it's because I've just been busy. We've been having family over from Arizona. I went to an Arizona trip and I did actually film a video the second I got back. It was like a following me around through a nail appointment with me because I am mobile so I figured it would be kind of interesting to see that aspect instead of having like an at home um, nail service or whatever. Um, and I did film that, and that video will be up, but I need to f uh, record some voiceovers for the video, and in order to do that, I need my microphone, and I cannot find my mic anywhere. Um, I don't think I lost it, I think I just misplaced it, and I just am not able to find it, but um, the second I find that, I will film the voiceover to that video and post it, but I didn't want to waste any more time because I haven't posted it in a while, and we have a, we have a couple new subscribers, so hey guys! Thanks so much for subscribing and supporting my channel, I really appreciate it. So anyways, this video is going to be about all different types of practice hands. Um, I have quite a few options here. I've been through a lot of practice hands, and I finally nailed it down to one. But I will be showing you guys that one at the end. Um, I'm just going to be going in order. I literally have... How many hands I have here? I have six hands. Wait. Two, four, five. I have seven different types of hands. And um, it's a lot. But I'll tell you guys why and how I ended up getting all these types of hands. But I just wanted to make a video on all types of hands. On just many types of, types of practice hands. Because I feel like a lot of people have a hard time deciding like which practice hands are goods and which ones aren't and which ones they should buy which ones they shouldn't and um, I'm here so that you can si save yourselves some cash and just stick with one or two of them and not have to buy seven different types just to figure it out. So the first one which is also the in my opinion the worst practice hand that you can buy. Again this is all opinion based maybe you will like it but in my opinion this one was the one I literally used one time and never touched again. But this is also one I didn't pay for. I am a cosmetology student, so the fact, um, so when I did get my um, supplies kit or whatever, this hand did come inside of it. But it is just like a very hard, just very very hard um, practice hand. Literally, the tip, the tips of the fingers only move like this much. The rest of the finger you literally have to tug to move and like when you do move them they go back to its position. It's just a really bad hand honestly and then the nail tips are just, the only thing, the only good um, thing I can say about this hand is the cuticle area. Um, I think it's like a very nice realistic way of putting a cuticle on a hand so that you can practice like um, really placing a bead close to the edge and not um, having it like overflow or any of that so that's like the only good thing I would say about this hand the other stuff I don't really like the tips just like don't fit on there properly I'm gonna be demonstrating with the wildflowers um, tips these are full cover tips I like using full cover tips for practice hands and all of that because it's just the whole nail and it's just not like it doesn't have the curve at the end so when you do like place I mean hold on Let's just stick to one hand at a time. On this one, I would recommend using full covers if you do get it. Um, but, I don't know, I just don't like the the shape of the nail. It just doesn't... Like, you can, I don't know, it just it lifts on top of the... Um, like, it doesn't fully cover the surface. I don't know if you're able to see that. There you go. So when I put the tip on there, you see all of that top that's left on there like you cannot glue a tip down um, it would just pop right off so that's just another thing I don't like about this hand at all um, if you want to practice just like ac like application in your cuticle I guess this one's kind of cool but other than that um, this one is a 1 out of 10 rating so <laughs> I would not suggest that one um, the next one that I got after I got that one was this hand <laughs> so this is actually not meant for nails. Okay, at the moment of buying this, it wasn't meant for nails at all whatsoever. Like this hand, I I saw at Joanne's Fabrics. It was like one of those sketch hands that practice that you practice like sketching like movement of fingers and like all of that. 
but I thought it would be a really good idea and a cool creative idea to just use one of these as a practice hand because like it's cute you know it's aesthetically pleasing to see it the wood and um, it has like little like finger um, imprints um, and I don't know I just thought it was cool uh, cool, cool looking and I feel like um, as a display hand it would be kind of cool too if you actually put like a nice set on here um, but for an overall practice hand this was kind of a flop honestly as you can see I did actually um, put some acrylic on there but I didn't put any tape or any of that because I don't like how tape looks I think it looks really ugly and it's just like annoying to work with but a tip to not have to do glue down tips or just full-on acrylic on there is to put tape on there and then just practice on top of the tape but again I don't know I personally didn't like working like that but um it's a good idea because this this part here is stuck onto the wood right now and I honestly just haven't put any time to remove it but I'm sure you could remove it um, but yeah like this again this is a cool hand if you want to like display a set of nails on there and just like stand it up on your desk you know it's it's kind of cute but um, as of like a practice hand like a full-on practice hand I would not suggest it um, but I was actually on Amazon the other day looking at practice just different types of practice hands and um, I don't know why I just got create I got curious and a hand just like this one popped up but it has holes so I mean you can get one of these so um, it had like a hole to apply like um, like these type of tips on there which is kind of cool. So if you guys like the look of this hand, go on Amazon. I will link I will link all the hands down below. Um, but they have an option where you can actually like remove tips, which is pretty cool because you get both of the aesthetically pleasing wooden hand, but you can also remove the nails very easily. So yeah, this one I'm just gonna be keeping basically just for like a room decor, but I don't think I'll ever be using it for practice nails anymore um, because the fingers don't move sideways; they only move up and down, which is cool because you can you know there's a lot of ways to move them, but um, as in sideways, they don't really move. So. That is another practice hand that I ended up buying because I thought it was a cool idea, but it just didn't end up working out for me, to be honest. The next hand was this one. This one, I actually got an accident. This one came in a, um, I had gotten something on OfferUp. It was like a train case, like a mini train case that came with um, a tripod for mannequin heads that I needed for Cosmo class. So I basically just got the tripod and then the woman ended up including uh, the train case for free. And then this hand was inside of the train case. I guess her daughter had just graduated from cosmetology school or something and didn't need it anymore. So she just gave it over to me but yeah this hand came with it and um, I believe this is the hand that we would use for state board if you guys are um, into cosmetology or whatever you know that um, we have state board and this is what I think this is the, t the hand that we would use there um, but yeah so on this one it was cool um, I actually this hand does work very well um, but again like when it when it comes to like moving them you can move them but they get they kind of, they kind of get a little ugly. Like, do you see the fly area right there? Um, but I mean, if you don't mind that, and then you can like move them sideways. It's a little harder to move them sideways, but you can definitely move them. Um, but again, I would probably suggest you um, use the tape method, where you just put a piece of tape on there and then work over, so you could just tear the nails off. Because this one, the only complaint I have is taking the nails off. Um, again, I haven't even tried soaking them off, so I don't know if they're like resistant to, to acetone, um, but I'm sure you could just remove it that way with some acetone, but again, I just haven't tried them. They These used to be like long stiletto nails with um, acrylic French tips, which is what I was practicing to doing acrylic French tips at the moment, so um, at the time that I used this nail this practice hand so I haven't used it in forever but I was at one point and um, this one was definitely my favorite out of the first three that I had gotten so I was like oh this might be like my hand or whatever but then I wanted something more realistic so after that I got so this one I would probably rate well the wooden one I forgot to rate I'd probably rate maybe uh, like a 2 out of 10 to be completely honest um, it's just not a good one unless you get the one on Amazon that has like the removable removable nails I think that one's pretty cool
but this one, this one was like a 5 out of 10. Um, it did its job. Um, it's just kind of annoying to remove the nails afterwards, but if you don't mind that, then this one's pretty good. It's, I mean, it's nice. The fingers look kind of realistic, so. Yeah, there's that one. And then I got this hand. So... <laughs> this is, I was really, really just wanting something very realistic for photography purposes or for YouTube. Um, and I didn't want to pay for, you know, the more expensive brands out there that sell like the really nice, realistic silicone hands. Um, so I went, on, I went on Amazon, looked up, you know, silicone hands or whatever, and I ended up seeing this one that it was like a tattoo hand, like a tattooing hand. Um, and it was like 30 bucks or something, and this is what it looked like, which looks pretty good. I mean, it looks all right. <laughs> it lacks a little bit of detail. Um, let me clean it off. So I didn't think about the angles that I was cutting the um, slits into when I was actually doing it. So instead of like cutting like sideways, you know, more flat onto the nail bed, I ended up cutting some like inwards. So just for an example, I'm going to show you the thumb. I, I just cut them to like downward and then the nails would just stick up like this off the nail bed. Because I didn't cut them like this, you know, I didn't cut the entrance like this. So the nails would just start sticking up and I basically just did not like how I ended up doing the job at all. Um, this might honestly work if you're like really careful and stuff, but I honestly just don't know. Like this, look at this one, I did end up cutting a little better. So it's possible, but um, I don't know. I just, I don't know if I'd like go through the trouble, but I mean, this hand was only like 30 bucks. So if you guys are willing to like cut the slits yourself and uh, be really gentle and like careful, then this technique could work because the hand is pretty realistic. The only thing I don't like is that the fingers are kind of separated. They're really separated. So like, say if I were to take pictures, like the fingers would be like really spread it out, you know? Like I would like that they're, like I'd like them if they were like more together, but Maybe that's a personal preference. I don't know. This is, there is that hand. Again, I got this one on Amazon. I will link everything down below if you guys are interested in this hand. Um, I mean, it's it's nice looking. It's, it's pretty realistic. I think for the price, it's really nice. But it just wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Um, so I don't use it, like, ever, honestly. But again, like if you if this meets what you're looking for, I would I would highly suggest it. Um, I think it's just a matter of opinion for everyone. And um, I was just looking for something more. I don't know. Like I think if I would have cut the slits better, I would have no issue with it to be honest because it's a good hand. Um, so yeah, that one I would definitely rate like a 7 out of 10 if you guys don't mind like the separated fingers and it not having slits unless you add them yourself. So yeah, so I got that hand and then after that I was like, you know what, I need to stop getting so many hands that like look nice or whatever. I need something that's practical. I need something that's really going to help me learn and um, really practice and perform better with my nails so this is where this puppy came in here and this is one I really recommend for everyone um I knew I was gonna say I was gonna recommend the best one at the end but um there's kind of two really good ones that this is the first one and this is basically just a Pratt, like a blonde like a hard plastic practice hand and it comes with these little inserts here and this is what the little fingertips look like. They come with like little fingertips. I don't really add on the fingertips because I don't want to mess them up when I'm filing or um, I don't know. I just, I don't know why I just don't keep them on to be honest. But they come like this. So they come like this with the tip with the fingertips on. Um, most people remove them though because it these kind of get in the way of filing as you can see right here like I, I it gets in the way sometimes but it's just personal preference some people keep them on some people don't 
Um, I just feel like I get a better shaping. Like if I want a skinnier like coffin or whatever, I usually take the finger out because if not, it makes it really like bulky looking. But again, personal preference. I don't know. But this is what it looks like. And then it comes with this like little thing that you can attach to like the end of a table. And then it comes with a baggie of a bunch of like these tip things that just like clip on to the hand. And there's like a couple different sizes. It's not like a huge drastic like uh, size difference, but there's like enough where it's like, okay, well this is for the thumb. And then they just like pop in there. And then like these smaller ones obviously would probably be for like the rest of the fingers. So yeah, so these just pop on like this and then you would glue on. This is where you could either use full covers or just regular tips. Um, I would use regular tips, honestly. Full covers I feel like just wouldn't make sense for these, but um, you could use the regular tips that have like a little curve at the end or you can sculpt on this hand as well. So um, yeah, I mean it does everything. This is the practice hand I go to if I'm like just really trying to practice like nail art or whatever. Um, this is my go-to. So I really, really recommend this one, um, for, like, daily practicing or, um, just whatever, like, messy practicing, you know? This is my go-to. Um, tips I recommend for using this hand, though, is cutting the tips off really short. Like, these nails, like, really, just basically mimic like it's a real hand. And this is, again, this is why I take these, like, fingertips off, because the shortest you can clip a nail on this hand is like right here and that's not short enough for my personal liking because then the tips kind of have a hard time adhering so I just take the fingertip off and then I will put this back on and then you can literally like clip it super short like super short and then round it out and make it look like a regular nail um and then I've also heard a lot of questions about like gluing the actual nail tip onto these hand these nails. It has a hard time doing it sometimes. Um, honestly, for me, it has to do everything about the glue you use and how and make sure you file the entire nail bed on these. When after you finish clipping it, really make sure you fi you file roughly the whole um, nail bed and then um, use a really fast drying strong nail glue. I use the KDS glue and it works great. Um, also recommend using oversized nail tips. Don't use si don't use nail tips that are smaller than the actual nail itself or one that looks exactly like it fits right. Use a little bit bigger. It always ends up working fine and you can always trim the sides off. So that's exactly, so that is all the tips I would use, recommend with this hand. It's, um, it's honestly my go-to. It is a great hand. I feel like everyone in the nail industry should use them and there's, um, and yeah, they're not that expensive either, so I will link them down below again. Um, but yeah, there's that hand, and that one I got after I was like, okay, I'm done spending a bunch of money on hands that, like, don't really fit my needs, and I need something for everyday practice, and that's why I got that one. So, then after I got that one, I was like, okay, well, I found the perfect hand that I have for everyday use. Now I just want a really good quality, realistic looking silicone hand um, that isn't going to cost me a fortune. <laughs> so, I got this one. And this one, it was, it was pretty expensive, but not as expensive as, like, the really high quality ones. I wanted a full hand, and in the... Um, good brands that sell silicone hands. The full hands are like over a hundred dollars And then they come with like the four finger like set where it's like this and I was like, you know what? This is a full hand and it is under like 80 bucks. So might as well just get it and I did and this is what it looks like and this is a pretty I mean, it's good um, the color is kind of weird to me like um, I don't know, it has like a green undertone in my opinion, like, it's not even like a tan or like a darker shade, it just looks kind of green to me, um, but I mean it doesn't really matter, like, 
the fingers kind of look pretty good. Um, I was like, I'm just needing it for photography, and it like it fit. It, it looked what like what I needed online, so I just ended up buying it. Um, this hand was probably like 70, 60 to seventy dollars, um, and I got it on eBay. I remember because I didn't have them on Amazon yet, but I just checked Amazon recently, and they actually have hands like this now. So yeah, I'll link those down below. But um, the thing with silicone hands, like even the other one that I showed you, the tattooing one, they get very linty very quickly. They they really attract that lint <laughs> and fur and like animal pet hair and just dust overall. Um, so yeah, but with an alcohol pad, like you can really clean it up. So I don't really mind it, but it do, I mean it does get annoying. But even I feel like even with maybe like the more expensive ones, you would have the same issue, you know, because it's silicone, but. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this hand and I wasn't like completely pleased with was one, the color, and two, the nails are very, very thin and long. I think maybe if they were a little shorter, like you know, the nail beds it, themselves weren't so long looking, I think it would be more realistic because I have I do have clients that have really tiny fingers so this would be a pretty good practice hand if you're practicing really small acrylic nails or whatever um because they are pretty small like I mean I have pretty big nail beds but these are like super tiny they're like the size of my pinky nails like all of them and I feel like they're all the same size too besides the pinky so and then the thumb's, like, so strange because, again, it's really thin and, like, long. And I'm like, that is not a realistic thumb, like, you know. So, I don't know. Ignore this thumb, by the way. Like, I had a hard time applying acrylic because I'm right-handed. So, <laughs> they're, they're rough. So, anyways. Um, yeah, I would probably rate this, like, a 7 out of 10 as well just because it's just personal preference. Like, if you guys are satisfied with the way this hand looks, then go ahead and buy it. Um, the fingers do move very nicely. They position very nicely. They have the wiring inside of them, and that is something that sometimes you have to pay extra for when you go to expensive sites. So, just things to look out for, you know, budgeting and, like, whatever. Um... So, yeah, I still, like, I use this hand sometimes to do designs on. Um, I used this hand for, like, my Christmas series that I never finished where I was doing, like, designs. Um, so, yeah, it, I mean, it's a pretty good hand. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, that's, like, all I have to say about it. Um, I do have one last one, though, and um, I ordered this hand specifically because, again, this one didn't meet like all of my standards I didn't like how small the nail beds were like they, they just weren't realistic to me like I don't know I just wasn't satisfied and I had money so I was like you know what I'm going to invest into one of the expensive brand hands got it in the mail like a week ago and yeah it is the Red Iguana four finger hand in the color April Ryan um, and yeah, so it comes like this cute little packaging, and it says your perfect model is here, and then it says thank you for choosing our Red Iguana Silicone Practice Hand, we appreciate your support and can't wait to see your creations. And then it just has like how to use your silicone hand or finger, because they have like separate fingers that they sell as well, and it basically just tells you how to take care of your hand. And yeah, it came with like a cute little ring. I think it's just like for modeling purposes and then it comes with the hand itself and it comes in the little baggie for storing purposes I guess but I'm probably just gonna store it in the box that it came with honestly so I'm gonna throw this little baggie away so that the, this is what it looks like. It is only the four finger model. Um, I was going to get the full hand, but it was over $100. And then I also looked up a lot of reviews and they were saying how they actually recommend the four finger one because no one ends up using the thumbs anyway on the big full hand practice hand. Um, and it's also a lot heavier than just the four fingers. And let me show you the clamp that I ordered. 
Already Guana actually um, offers like like they sell clamps as well. Oops, sorry. But um, they're pretty, I mean, they're a little pricey. And then one that I can buy for cheaper on Amazon. So I just ended up buying this one instead. And it's just like a two-sided clamp thing um, on Amazon. I think it was like $16, I want to say. And I think on the one on Red Iguana, there's one just like this, but in white, I believe. And it was like 21 or something. So you save a couple bucks, but they're essentially the same exact thing. Um, and basically, you would just use it you would clamp it onto your table and then clamp it on to your hand like this Let's see if i can open it like that so this is what it would look like and then you would just put it you know clamp it onto somewhere and like you know use it in whatever form you want to use but like this um so yeah this clamp works perfect and i mean it does its job so um i will link this clamp down below as well i have used it with this hand before as well but you can use it with like any of the practice hands um and yeah so the reason why i ended up buying this one was because the, these are like the most realistic hands i have seen out of all the companies I've bought from, out of, you know, all the options and stuff. So, um, I went for it and I paid, I think it was like, I want to say it was like 80 or something in total with like taxes and everything. And then I paid a little extra because it has the wiring inside of it. Um, they have some that are cheaper, but they don't have the wiring inside. So they're like just silicone, um, where like it wouldn't stay if you positioned it a certain way um you can move them and everything but they would just wouldn't stay in place and i just wanted it to have wires so i did pay extra for that as well um but yeah just the hand itself it's so realistic the amount of detail that is on there is just like amazing and i love the cuticle area it's very realistic it's it's helpful, you know, to practice like overflowing in the cuticle area. It's just, it's so realistic. Like it literally looks like my fingers. It's insane. Like compared to this one, like I feel like it's just like, I don't know. It's just a really big difference, you know? Um, but again, I mean, it's all preferences and just... It's just preferences, and I just wanted something to look really nice for pictures and stuff. So that's what I ended up buying. And if you guys are looking for something that's very nice quality, very realistic um, for pictures or videos, I honestly would recommend you to get this one. But again, preferences um in my opinion like if you guys think this one looks better then obviously go for it it's the full hand and it's cheaper um but i don't know i just i really really like this hand it's it's very nice quality and um the reason why i got like half the the only the four fingers is because whenever i practice designs i never end up doing the thumb i just i don't um i know some people who do those so that might be important um, the full hand, though, was over $100, um, and then plus the wiring and then shipping and all that, so um, it's more expensive, but, I mean, it's worth it for some people. And then they also have separate fingers, too, where it would just be, like, literally just one finger like this, um, which is cool, too, if you guys are practicing, like, just one thing. Um, and another reason why I only got the four fingers is because they say that the full hand is extremely heavy, and it's really hard for the clamp to make it stay up. Um, they say that um, it just falls constantly, that they can't keep it up, and I, I wanted stability. So I just ended up going with the four finger option. But yeah, so that is the last one that I have to tell you guys about. This one also does get a little linty, but I have to say it actually gets a lot less linty than the other two silicone ones that I have. So um, that is really nicely. That is really nice, and um, again, just grab an alcohol pad or just, you know, a little wipe with alcohol on it, and it comes off very, very easily to clean them off. So, yeah, so that is what... 
this one looks like. And this one I would use full cover tips for them. Um, um, I think it's just the easiest in my opinion. And then again, it has like the nicely, professionally built in <laughs> uh, tip insert. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just think it looks so clean. And they're just, it's just a really nice hand, honestly. It's a really, really nice hand. So that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this was actually a pretty informative video. Um, I hope, you know, it helped you guys out with deciding on what hand you guys want to look into and all of that. Um, I know <laughs> I went through some options myself, and I just, in order, like, I... If I had to recommend two of these, I would definitely recommend this one for the like everyday practice and you know messy work, all of that. It's simple, it's um, it's easy to work with, it's quick. You just remove these and start a new set. Um, but if it's like if you want it for photography, for videos, for you know more realistic work, I definitely recommend the Red Iguana hand. Um, it's just, I don't know, in my opinion, it's just, like, so realistic looking. I, I just, I mean, you could save so much money in just, like, um, investing in just this really good quality hand instead of, like, buying a bunch of things that you might not end up liking at the end. But, I mean, hopefully this video got, helped you guys out on deciding, like, which one you guys prefer. Um, there's so many different options out there. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope this helped you guys out. Please leave any more suggestions down below in the comments. I really would really appreciate it. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. I will forever be grateful. Till next time.